For decades, China's greatest naval vulnerability wasn't visible on radar screens or satellite images. It was silent, submerged, and deadly. Enemy submarines operating beneath the waves, beyond the reach of China's surface fleets. Warships could be built. Aircraft carriers could be launched. But without a reliable way to hunt what lurks underwater, even the most powerful navy remains exposed. That vulnerability forced a quiet race. One that didn't involve missiles or stealth fighters, but helicopters. And at the center of that race now stands a machine designed to change the balance beneath the sea. Is the Z-20F, the navalized variant of the Harbin Z-20 helicopter. The Z-20F represents a pivotal advancement in the People's Liberation Army Navy's capabilities, marking a significant step in China's ambition to transform into a blue water navy. As the naval variant of the Harbin Z-20 medium lift utility helicopter, the Z-20F is specifically engineered to address long-standing gaps in anti-submarine warfare and enhance the PLA Navy's overall operational flexibility and reach. Its introduction signifies a shift towards modern, multi-mission naval aviation, crucial for protecting China's expanding surface fleet, including its aircraft carriers, against diverse maritime threats. The Z-20F's lineage traces back to the indigenous Z-20 medium-lift utility helicopter, which first flew on December 23, 2013, and entered active service with the Chinese Armed Forces in 2018. While the Z-20 is often noted for its resemblance to the US UH-60 Black Hawk, China initiated its own 10-ton helicopter project in 2006 following US arms embargoes after 1989 that restricted further S-70 acquisitions. The Z-20F naval variant was specifically developed to enhance the PLA Navy's anti-submarine warfare capabilities, a domain where the Chinese Navy has historically lagged behind its rivals. This helicopter is seen as a direct answer to the PLA Navy's need for a modern, multi-role naval helicopter capable of operating from its expanding fleet of advanced surface combatants. Design and Technical Specifications The Z-20F incorporates a robust and aerodynamically refined airframe, distinguished by several features that set it apart from its Black Hawk inspiration. A notable difference is its five-bladed main rotor, compared to the Black Hawk's four blades, which contributes to greater lift, cabin capacity, and endurance. The tail-to-fuselage joint frame is more angular, and the helicopter employs a fly-by-wire flight control system, making it the first China-made helicopter to utilize this advanced technology. This system is intended to reduce pilot burden and enhance safety and stability during operations. For naval operations, the Z-20F features structural modifications such as foldable rotor blades and tail boom, crucial for efficient storage within the tight confines of ship hangar bays. The tail wheel is also relocated forward to the rear end of the fuselage, a design similar to the US. Navy's SH-60B NF and MH-60 are Seahawks, further facilitating shipborne handling. Measuring approximately 20 meters in length, with a 16-meter rotor diameter and a height of 5.3 meters, the Z-20F has a maximum takeoff weight of 10,000 kilograms and can carry an internal payload of approximately 1.5 tons or an external sling load of about 5 tons. The Z-20F is powered by two domestically developed WZ-10 turboshaft engines, each capable of delivering between 2,100 and 2,700 horsepower. This power PLA Navy enables a maximum speed of 360 kilometers per hour a cruising speed of 290 km per hour, and an operational range of approximately 560 km. Its service ceiling reaches 6,000 meters, allowing for versatile operations in diverse environments, including high-altitude plateaus and open seas. The helicopter also incorporates features to reduce noise and enhance stealth capabilities. Advanced Sensor Suite and Electronic Warfare Systems the Z-20F is equipped with a sophisticated sensor suite and electronic warfare systems, primarily designed to bolster its ASW and maritime surveillance capabilities. Key ASW sensors include a prominent disc-shaped fairing underneath the fuselage housing a sea search radar, enabling effective surface search and target detection. A dipping sonar system, functionally similar to the US. A NAQS-22 airborne low-frequency sonar, can be lowered from a round opening in its belly for active submarine detection and tracking. Additionally, a magnetic anomaly detector boom is integrated, as is a sonobuoy launcher on the port side of the fuselage, 
further enhancing its ability to detect submerged threats. For reconnaissance and surveillance, the Z-20F features a stabilized electro-optical infrared turret, likely in front of the nose, for day and night operations. The cockpit is a glass design with multiple multifunctional displays, providing pilots with comprehensive situational awareness. Its electronic warfare capabilities include missile approach warning systems and radar warning receivers installed on the fuselage, designed to detect incoming threats. Chaff and flare dispensers, providing 360-degree coverage, offer passive defensive measures against missile attacks. Communication systems include a downward-facing UHF communications antenna and a directional data link antenna under a dome on the tail boom, allowing for the transmission of large amounts of information to surface receivers within line of sight. For beyond line of sight connectivity, a large satellite communications antenna system is located just aft of the fuselage tail boom connection, and it is integrated with China's Beidou satellite navigation system for precise positioning and timing. Armament and Weapon Integration The Z-20F's armament and weapon integration are meticulously designed for its primary ASW and anti-surface warfare roles. It is equipped with stub wings that feature multiple hardpoints for carrying a diverse array of munitions. For ASW, it can carry lightweight torpedoes, such as the YU-7 and self-guided depth charges, providing an effective means to engage submerged targets. Against surface threats, the Z-20F is capable of deploying air-to-surface missiles like the KD-10, with photographic evidence suggesting it can carry up to eight of these missiles on its stub wings. These missiles are analogous to the U.S. AGM-114 Hellfire and are well-suited for force protection against small boat swarms or for providing close air support during amphibious operations. Additionally, it can carry YJ-9 short-range anti-ship missiles. While primarily focused on ASW and anti-surface roles, it is noted that most versions of the Z-20, including the Z-20F, do not feature air-to-air -air armament. Mission Roles and Operational Flexibility The Z-20F is a multi-role helicopter, primarily designed to enhance the PLA Navy's ASW capabilities, filling a crucial gap identified by analysts. It provides significant improvements over older platforms like the Z9 and Ka-28 in terms of ASW performance, combat radius, and weapon carriage capacity. Beyond its primary ASW function, the Z-20F is highly versatile, capable of undertaking a broad spectrum of secondary missions. These roles include search and rescue operations, transport of troops and cargo, reconnaissance, and surveillance. Its modular design also allows it to be adapted for logistics support vertical replenishment and medical evacuation, thereby providing comprehensive support to naval operations. The development of specialized variants within the Z-20 family, such as the Z-20J for assault and transport, Z-20T for armed assault, and Z-20S NKS for SAR, underscores China's commitment to a standardized, multi-role helicopter fleet. Shipborne Integration and Operational Deployment the Z-20F is designed for seamless integration with a wide array of PLA Navy warships, highlighting its importance in projected blue water operations. It is slated for deployment on advanced destroyers like the Type 052D and Type 055 Renhai class cruisers. Frigates such as the Type 054B and large amphibious assault ships like the Type 075 Yushin class LHAs. Furthermore, it is expected to operate from China's aircraft carriers including the Type 003 Fujian and future Type 004 carriers. Recent reports from March 2025 indicate that the fourth batch of Type 052D destroyers is being fully equipped with Z-20F helicopters, signifying a full transition from older models. Operational images released by the South China Sea Fleet have confirmed the Z-20F's active service and participation in combat exercises, including those involving Type 075 amphibious assault ships and Type 093A nuclear attack submarines. Its design incorporates features like a square hole compatible with the recovery assist, secure, and traverse system, common on other maritime-optimized helicopters, and an automated landing system to facilitate recoveries in rough sea conditions. These operational deployments demonstrate its capability to support long-range, long-duration missions and contribute significantly to the PLA Navy's growing ability to conduct operations beyond China's immediate periphery. Comparative Analysis with International Counterparts 
The Z-20F is frequently compared to the U.S. Navy's MH-60 or Seahawk, a benchmark for modern naval ASW helicopters. While sharing visual similarities, the Z-20F incorporates distinct features like its five-bladed main rotor and angular tail design, contributing to improved lift and cabin capacity. In terms of performance, the Z-20F's operational range of 560 kilometers is shorter than the MH-60R's 830 kilometers and the European NH-90 NFH's 982 kilometers. However, Taiwan's Navy Professional Journal noted that some of the Z-20F's capabilities, particularly in extending operational distance for anti-submarine combat, could exceed those of the MH-60R, potentially doubling the reach of Chinese destroyers and corvettes. The Z-20F's payload capacity of up to 4 tons is notable, providing significant flexibility for mission-specific equipment and weapons. The sensor and EW suites on the Z-20F, including its dipping sonar, MAD, and comprehensive self-protection systems, bring its technological sophistication closer to that of its Western counterparts. Its integration with China's indigenous Beidou satellite navigation system provides a distinct advantage in navigation and communication within its operational sphere. The Z-20F's fly-by-wire system, though rare in helicopters, is found in advanced platforms like the NH-90, indicating a high level of technological integration. Analysts generally assess the Z-20F as a significant leap for Chinese naval aviation, effectively narrowing the technological and operational gap with leading global naval powers and fulfilling a badly needed capability for the PLA Navy. Impact on PLA Navy modernization and blue water ambitions. The Z-20F is a cornerstone of the PLA Navy's modernization drive, particularly in enhancing its blue water operational capabilities. By significantly improving ASW capabilities, the Z-20F helps protect the PLA Navy's growing fleet, including its aircraft carriers, from critical undersea threats, which have been identified as a weakness. This enhances the survivability and effectiveness of deployed task groups, allowing them to operate at greater distances from mainland China. The helicopter's modular design and compatibility with various surface combatants and amphibious assault ships contribute to the standardization of naval helicopter operations across the PLA Navy. This standardization, combined with its multi-role capabilities, provides the PLA Navy with increased flexibility and endurance for long-distance, long-duration deployments, supporting China's expanding global maritime interests and non-war military activities. The Z-20F fills an operational gap between heavier and lighter naval helicopters, establishing itself as the standard naval and ASW helicopter for the PLA Navy. Production and Future Outlook The Z-20F is currently in mass production by Harbin Aircraft Industry Group, with initial units assigned to Type 052D and Type 055 destroyers. Production is ramping up to replace older helicopters such as the Russian-built Ka-28s and domestically made Z-9Cs, which have limitations in range, endurance, and sensor capabilities. This high-rate production is critical for establishing an underwater defense perimeter, especially for carrier strike group operations in deep-sea environments. While the Z-20F is primarily developed to meet China's domestic defense needs, there are no current public indications of its export potential. China's strict export controls and international sanctions, particularly from the US, limit the proliferation of its advanced military technology overseas. Future upgrades for the PLA Navy's Z-20 family are focused on continuous enhancement of its capabilities. This includes further integration of advanced sensors, weapons, and avionics to maintain its competitiveness. The Z-20 platform is also serving as a basis for the development of other specialized variants, including stealth-optimized versions and even a dedicated attack helicopter, the Z-21, showcasing a strategic modular approach to rotary wing aviation. While some assessments acknowledge potential technical and logistical challenges in matching the maturity of established Western systems, the Z-20F nonetheless represents a formidable and continuously evolving asset for the PLA Navy.